Welcome to Farmers Weekly's Harvest Highlights series. Harvest finally got underway last week with the warm and dry weather continuing. Temperatures have remained in the high 20s, bringing harvest forward. The heat wave has caused growers concerns over crop damage, with drought stress becoming noticeable over the last week in wheat on lighter land. Only last week we saw pictures of winter barley looking some way off, but a week on and reports of harvesting are coming in thick and fast. Reported yields have been around 7 to 7.5 tonnes per hectare. Quality looks good and with the earliest crops usually yielding the lowest, the outlook is positive. In the east, one grower able to crack on early was Chris Ascroft in Cambridgeshire. He has combined 120 hectares of venture at a moisture content of 10.9% and yielding between 6.8 and 7.2 tonnes to the hectare. Just up the road near Bury St Edmunds, organic farmer John Pawsey has harvested over 50 hectares of Suzuka winter barley. He says yields are better than last year and specific weight is around 70 kilograms to the hectolitre. Down near Chepstow, close to the Welsh border, Neville Bartlett has been cutting his variety California, yielding 7.4 tonnes to the hectare and coming in at 15.6% moisture. Two of the heaviest crops of winter barley this week are at opposite ends of the country. R. Cooper & Sons near Terrington, North Yorkshire and D.J. May near Barnstable, Devon, both achieving 8.75 tonnes to the hectare. We've now received the first report of winter Aussie rape being harvested, with Martin Bartholomew near Chichester, Sussex, cutting three hectares of Allegria for seed. The crop yielded 3.9 tonnes to the hectare at 8.4% moisture. However, most remain behind, either waiting to ripen after desiccation or only just being sprayed off or swathed as we speak. So there'll be at least two to three weeks until harvesting in many cases. Winter wheat progress remains variable across the country with many growers still predicting it will be two weeks before any wheat is ready. On the lighter land we have seen some drought stress, but with some recent rains there is more optimism after a difficult start to the season. Potato crops have also suffered in the recent heat wave, particularly where irrigation access has been limited. Western areas of England have seen the most harvesting activity and reports from Shropshire note good quality and around average yields. Over the next few weeks we'll continue to track harvest progress across the country and we want you to get involved. Send us your pictures and videos of how you're getting on. This could be anything from a short clip of you loading your trailer, cutting your first crop or even just the conditions in your fields. Basically anything to get us updated on your harvest progress. We'll use these in our series to keep the farming community updated on the harvest in every corner of the country. So join us next week for more harvest highlights.